I'm Donna Nichols and I'm from Westphalia, Kansas. I'm sure I will to some extent. Um, spirituality has always been a huge part of my life, so I don't see that ever changing. Um, and actually, I don't even, for me, I don't call it spirituality, I call it faith because it drives so much of what I do. As far as living simply, most of my life I've lived simply. It's just going to be a matter of, for me, figuring out what's the balance between admitting that I want something and being willing to meet my needs and living in such a way that other people can live well too. Well, this year I work at four different locations. So I'm at different places almost continuously. I know every single day whenever I come into work, something could change. Um, there's even times where I'll go into work and they'll actually tell me, well, so-and-so called, you can go to your other work site. Um, but it's, it's fun, I enjoy it. I work at three different food pantries. At those food pantries, I get a chance to really enter into people's stories and really see the extent of poverty and what's going on in people's lives that leads them to where they're at. The other place that I work at, I work for the Department of Aging. So I get to see, again, really a lot of similar situations. What happens to people once they turn 60 and get older and they need to move to another location? Um, what happens whenever you have a person that um, has worked all their life and suddenly they're trying to live just on Social Security? Um, so there's a lot of things that I see at work, and it's, it's very interesting to try to help as best as I can resolve those issues. Um, probably be willing and be prepared to need other people. And that's something before coming to this program, I would have just laughed at myself. I would have said, no, I don't need other people. I can do this on my own. I'm a very strong-willed, very independent person. I want to have all the answers. And the truth of the matter is, I don't. Um, if I could tell an incoming person what they should bring with them, I'd say they need to pack their humility. You know, be prepared to see the world as it really is. And, and the world as it really is sometimes is great. There are wonderful people out there who do amazing things. But the world as it really is also comes with its burdens and its luggage. Um, I'd also say, you know, hey, you need that humility because without it, you're, you're going to miss those times whenever you need someone to pick you up. And you're going to miss seeing just really it's the humility in life that lets you see the beauty in life. When I look at myself now, probably the main difference that I see from who I was and who I am now is I'm just a person that's a lot more confident about what I'm able to do. Um, I'm a person that understands better uh, who I am, what I stand for. I've had people challenge me and I've been willing to stand up to that challenge. And there's been times where I've had to say I'm wrong and change my views, but that's been okay too.